So C Electrical V8R1 now supports Unicode fonts, so extended character sets from Russian, Cyrillic, Arabic, Chinese and Greek and many more uh, are now fully supported directly in the software. So if we take a quick example, I'll go into Google Translate and I'll just copy a piece of text and if I go to put a piece of text in, straight away I can paste it and I can see that information appearing. Now if I was to try that same thing, this is uh, just to show you, if I go to information, this is V8R1 build 15. If I go back to V7R2 build 17 and I just try that same thing again, I'll just go in, paste a piece of text, this is Arial font, control V and I've got nothing really. So I'd have to choose a different uh, font set derivative from there. So it's a lot more long winded, it's more difficult to support that and with V8R1 it's already supported, it's already in there. So just as an example if I go to functions I go to um, translate and I can pick a different language so for instance I could say this is Russian I can take off the uh, source language and just close that and you can see the actual translations there and on the translate just notice that it's using the straightforward Arial font we're not using any extended character sets in there so very straightforward. The only difference you'll really see in day-to-day -day use is when you go to File, Open, within the new version. If you open an old project, the first thing you'll be asked for, if I just go into an old project, is that it's in a different version. But the second thing is that you'll be asked which language you want this to be used in, the current system. So that's your default language. Once you've clicked OK, the project will open and you won't be asked that again. Very straightforward and uh, very useful if you're working with uh, different font sets.